Okay, here we go. One last thing. Difficult to describe, impossible for you guys to do. I understand that. But I'm going to say it anyhow. Be mad at me if you want. I'm sorry. If you are writing from the critical part of your brain, this part right there, right between the eyes, where you have all the rules of all the years of school and everything else, and that's where you're writing from, you won't write an original word. You just won't. You have to write from back here out of the creative voice. To get the creative voice going, you sit down and stop worrying about it. You just write. And you just write. Nano Remo write. Power it out write. Leave it alone when it's done. Trust the creative voice. Trust it. Wow, is that impossible to do. Just darn near impossible. But, here's how this manifests. If you write something out of the cre creative voice, the creative voice, the critical voice will always, when it's done, attempt to sabotage it. Oh, this can't be good, i got to rewrite it. Oh, there's got to be a lot of mistakes in there. Oh, and you'll hear all of this litany of the critical voice from all those years of English teachers and other training just jamming at you. What you have to do is develop techniques to skip that step somehow. <laughs> oh my. How it also develops is that if you're an outliner, which again, every writer's different. I've outlined many, many, many novels and I've written into the dark many, many, many novels. No right way of doing it. But if you're an outliner, you outline things, even short stories. You've got to have an outline before you feel comfortable to sit down and write. And then you feel obsessed to follow the outline. Uh-oh, that's the critical voice winning. Now, outlines are always done out of the critical voice. Always done out of the critical voice. They are done as a crutch. They are done to help you, you know, get some sort of handle on it. They are done to try to bring a large scope down into a smaller scale. All of those reasons are great for outlining. The problem is, is that when you get this part in control, you need to let it go. And if it gets off outline, at the end of the day, change the outline. Don't force the writing back onto the outline. Change the outline to give this control. So it's perfectly fine to outline. Just don't let yourself be ripped in and grabbed and held in by some artificial thing that you made up way before you let the creative voice go. Let the creative voice go. And if it comes off of outline, let it go. And then when you're done for the day or done for the week, go back and say, okay, where are we now? Okay, we're way off this outline. Now, where can it go from here? And then do a new outline for the rest. Change the outline. Don't change the words to match a critical voice outline. Clear? It's just a trick to keep you in this creative voice where your originality is going to be. Back to point one about how to develop techniques to get past this is set up methods. Now, I have a method. It works for me. And that is, is when I am done with my cycling through, do, 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 and I get to the end, I immediately go over to my internet computer, which has a printer on it. I plug it in. I don't look at the story. I bring it up, and I print it. And I put it on Chris's spot on in, her, in the kitchen so that she'll read it when she gets up, because I usually finish stories long after she goes to bed. Or finish a novel. I just print it, put it on her spot. And I move on with the next story. I move on. She sometimes will read it before the, my next writing session or like that and give me fixes. I do not allow myself to reread the story. Nope. Because if I reread it, I reread it from right there, right in this critical spot. I don't allow it. I just do the fixes I agree with and I get it off, whether it goes into indie 
or whether it goes to you know a proofer or whether it goes to New York or goes to an editor, it's done. I've spell checked it, done the best job I could there. I've printed it. I've got a first reader. I fix the mistakes I agree with that the first reader finds. I don't reread it again. The only time I have read a whole bunch of my stories is when I wrote them. And then I have moved on. This works for me because I really, 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 truly believe that everything I write is crap. Everything. Why do I believe that? That's coming from this right here. Because this right here says, you need to rewrite everything, Dean. Oh, it's got to be bad. You could make it so much better. So much better than making a living for 25 or 30 years with my writing. Well, I spent seven years listening to this part of my brain, and it wasn't until I got that part of my brain out of the way that I started selling and making a living. Because this part's a hell of a storyteller. This part sucks. <laughs> I can't rewrite anything to save my life. And every time I do, I just make it pablum and make it dull. I keep this part out of the equation. Now, I'm sitting here with you, and I'm talking from an intellectual. You guys are listening in the intellectual part. But we learn through the intellectual part, and that gives the subconscious permission to do things. Permission. So I'm giving you permission to get this critical voice, either in outlining or in a system when you finish something, out of the way. Follow Heinlein's rules. There's a reason those rules work. There's a complete reason those rules work. I am not talking about writing faster. I'm not talking about writing sloppy. I'm doing saying doing the best job you can, everything else. Trust the story that comes out of your creative voice. That's what I'm telling you. Trust it. Quit dumbing it down by this part between your eyes. This is a great storyteller. The part between your eyes sucks as a storyteller. And that is the truth. And it's one of the great secrets of being a long-term creative fiction writer and a creative artist. Trust the creative side. Get the critical side out of the picture. So easy to say. Damn near impossible.